Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to be making some dough. So instead of just coming up or trying to come up with a random dough recipe or finding one on the internet, we decided that we were going to try to educate ourselves a little bit on making dough. So we found this awesome book. It is called The Elements of Pizza, Unlocking the Secrets to World Class Pies at Home by Ken Forkish. Um, it is an entire book that is dedicated to actually uh, the history of pizza making, the history of pizza dough, and he has a ton of different uh, pizza, pizza dough recipes in there. Um, we, we thought it was awesome. We read the whole book, uh, devoured it in like a day, just so we could actually kind of get our hands on the dough. So uh, we really just wanted to try out one of the recipes we found in there. It's called I Slept In But I Want Pizza Tonight Dough. So this is about a five and a half hour dough. So obviously, if you uh, wake up late on a on a weekend, you you don't have to you don't have to wait for 48 hours or 72 hours for dough. Um, this is a pretty quick dough recipe. If you're looking to just make pizza dough or experiment a little bit here, that's kind of the idea of behind this video. We're we're just trying to experiment a little bit. Um, fine tune our, our pizza dough making skills because we like making pizza. We like making pizza at home um, and it's a, it's a great way to do it. So the, the four ingredients that I have here to make my dough is water. I have instant uh, yeast. I have fine sea salt and I have uh, bread flour, uh, King Arthur, it's the blue bag bread flour. I think it's 12.7% uh, protein. Um, it's the one that they recommend for making pizza dough. So um, without further ado, let's try to make some dough here. I have my water. It's a, it's a cup and a half of water and it's actually, he recommends being between 95 and 100 degrees for the water. That's what activates the yeast. But if you go too hot, it'll actually kill the yeast. So um, I'm just following his steps as far as how he recommends adding everything together. So we'll give it a shot here. Okay, so I added my water. And now you add two teaspoons of fine sea salt. And I'm just gonna kind of shake it around and let that salt dissolve. The water is warm, so it should dissolve pretty quickly. Just kind of move it around. Okay, so our, water, our salt's pretty much dissolved in the water. Then I'm gonna take my yeast. It's a half of a fourth of a teaspoon of yeast. I'm gonna add it into the, the container here, my dough tub, um, and just let it hydrate for just a couple seconds. Make sure it all gets in there. And uh, let it hydrate for a couple seconds, and then again, I'm gonna just swirl it around so it, it starts to activate. Okay. And again, this having the water be, it, Having the water be warm, it's gonna activate the, the yeast and allow it to do its job here once the flour is added. So now that it's kind of hydrated a little bit, I'm going to swirl it around and it's going to dissolve into the water. And you'll be able to tell because the water starts to get a little murky and you can start to smell that yeast, the, the yeast smell that comes out of the water. So now my salt is dissolved, my yeast is uh, dissolved into the water as well. Now we're gonna just add our flour. So I have about four cups of um, pizza flour, or it's the, the blue bag flour. And uh, he recommends mixing it by hand, so we're gonna give it a shot and recommend, or uh, <laughs> we're gonna give it a shot and mix it by hand. So. My hands are clean too, by the way. I wanna be mixing dough with dirty hands. I don't know if I'm actually overdoing it or not, but um, my, my mass is almost almost ready here so 
And he recommends just after it forms into that ball, you're just gonna let it sit for about 20 minutes, um, get kind of a, the, the initial start to the fermentation. And then after that, we're going to, uh, we'll kind of, we'll, uh, we'll knead the, the dough ball and we'll let it ferment from there. Okay, so our dough has sat for 20 minutes, getting that initial, uh, I, don't, I don't even know what you would call it. Uh, but the next step is to take it out and knead it into one dough ball. So the one thing I forgot, uh, the book recommends that your dough temp, you're supposed to take the temperature of your dough after you form that first initial ball. Obviously adding hot water, flour, it changes the temperature. So the book says uh, you want your dough to be about 82 degrees. Ours was 85. I don't know how much of a difference that'll make, but um, I think it's gonna be okay. So the next step is we're gonna take the dough out and knead it into a dough ball. I just have a cutting board here that I'll put a little bit of flour on. Kind of work that in, that way the dough doesn't stick to the cutting board. Get my hands a little floury as well. And we will get this dough out and start working. You can see it's already kind of sticky in there. So we're just gonna start kneading it. And I don't really have a technique, so I'm just kind of pulling it, folding it into itself. And you can see that as you start to do that, the skin will start, or the skin of the dough will start to actually get smooth. And I'm just kind of pulling it out, pushing it in. And the underside is really starting to get smooth here. So. Flip it a second. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so now I have one dough ball. The outside of the dough is pretty smooth. It's a little floury because I have flour on the cutting board. Um, my seam is on the bottom here. So the next step in the book is take a little olive oil, put it on the bottom of your dough tub. Okay. I'm going to smear it around a little bit. Something for the dough to sit on. Then I'm going to take the dough ball, I'm going to set it in there. And I'll put a little bit of flour back on top of this. And then cover it tightly with a lid. And it's going to do its first fermentation for an hour and a half. So we'll come and check on it in an hour and a half. Hi guys, welcome back. So our dough has uh, fermented for about an hour and a half. Um, like I said, it's at room temperature with the lid on. And uh, our, you can see here the dough ball has, I don't know if you could say that it doubled, but um, it's definitely bigger. So what we're gonna do is the recipe says that it'll make three dough balls. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it out of here. I'm gonna uh, have a food scale that I'm going to measure how much uh, the actual dough ball weighs and I'm going to divide it into thirds. So um, I'm going to get some stuff floured up here and uh So I've cut the doughs down uh, and they're all pretty much about 12 ounce dough balls each. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take them, I'm gonna form them into three more dough balls um, and then it's gonna be their second fermentation. So that, according to the recipe, it's gonna take about four hours for that. So I will get that started now. And I'm just kneading this dough back into another ball it's a little smaller, so it's a little easier. But what I'm looking for is to have that dough smooth again on the outside. And I'm gonna use my cutting board to kind of pull it into a nice ball. So, and I'm going to flour my pan here a little bit. And this is where they're going to spend the next four hours fermenting. 
turning into what will be my final dough for my pizza tonight. So. Putting it into the pan seam side down. And I'm spacing them out enough so that they have enough room to spread out because they will spread out a little bit more. So I have all three dough balls prepared. I'm gonna sprinkle a little more flour on top of each one of them. And then I'm going to cover them uh, with some just some saran wrap and then they're gonna sit out at room temperature for four more hours. We'll be back after that's done. All right, so we're back. It's been four hours and our dough is finally ready. If you've watched any of the other videos on this channel, you can definitely see that we've made quite a few pizzas, but you have not seen us actually stretch out our dough. Uh, reason being is because we're not very good at it and it's a little embarrassing. So what we're gonna do here, obviously we've been making dough today, so we're gonna take the dough ball and I'm gonna stretch uh, two of them. So if you see something that could be improved or you have tips or suggestions, let me know in the comments. Um, I'm gonna go, go ahead and give it a shot. All right, so we've got one dough ball down. I'm gonna let it rest and then I'll stretch it the rest of the way. I'm gonna try it with the second one here. Okay, so now that our dough has been stretched, we're gonna make a couple pizzas. If you, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, making dough today at least. Um, make sure you check out the book, The Elements of Pizza by Ken Forkish. That's where we got this dough recipe from. Um, like I said, we are actually trying to follow actual recipes now to actually get our dough uh, to start coming out pretty well. So we'll uh, check back in and let you know how it turns out. But Thanks for watching. Um, make sure you guys are subscribed to our channel. Make sure you leave any comments below. If you could give me some pointers on how to actually uh, stretch the dough, I'd, I'd really appreciate it. And don't forget, work hard, food harder.